The moment you find yourself looking for money, you have missed the law. You will never find money. Money is not missing. Don't look for it. It is attracted by who you are becoming more than what you do. Becoming is greater than doing. Your evolution and your transformation is greater than what you do. Can I tell you this? You will prosper largely because of who you have become more than what you do. But the people that do know their God, it starts with knowledge. Listen carefully. It says they shall be, become, then they shall do exploits. It starts with knowledge, transformation, then action. Most people get it the other way around. So you find many people, Christians, what business can I do to prosper me? What job can I get to prosper me? You are missing it. You can do 30 things, you will get the same result if it's the same mindset doing them. It is not the business that is failing. Is the mindset that is doing the business that is making it fail. Are we together now? That is why the wealthy are not wealthy because of the business that prospered them. The wealthy are wealthy because of the mindset that made the business they are doing to prosper. Every business that you are, you are failing at, someone is succeeding at. The difference is not the business, it's the mindset. When you have a car and you drive that car to a ditch, don't blame the car. The car was supposed to obey every direction you take it to. So if your incompetence as a learner takes it, tells the car to go to the left, it will obey you. When you see that car hitting the tree, police does not arrest the car. They arrest you. Because the problem is not the car. The problem is the driver. That driver is your mindset. Are, are you learning now? Please come, Minister Kayo. They just come for a moment. Let me just use you for an example. Watch this. This body you see, everybody look up and learn. This body you see is only an instrument of execution. This body does not have a will of its own. Anything you see the body do that translates to the result of your destiny is only obedient to your mindset. If I take my hand and I slap this man, the hand is innocent. It is the mindset that told the hand to slap. Are we together now? If I take a gun and I go to kill, the gun is innocent. The mindset instructed the body to hold the gun till it kills because it believes it cannot prosper by dignity. So your body is only a slave to your thinking. When a man slaps his wife, and beats the wife there is a mindset that teaches you that if you beat the living daylight out of your wife she will respect you maybe it came from culture so your body becomes a slave to that thinking now let's assume god forbid but let's assume this man is an arm robber shoot this arm robber and let him fall to the ground let's also assume that there is another man standing here come you sit back at your keyboard there eh? watch this let's assume this man is a pastor Shoot two of them when they fall down. Do you call this an arm robber dead body? Do you call this a pastor dead body? So who was really the pastor? And who was really the arm robber? Not the bodies. They are all called dead bodies. Now watch this. Let's assume this man is an arm robber. There is a mindset making him to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It, this man is a pastor. There is a mindset making him to preach the gospel and to love Jesus Christ. By the time this man gets saved, he can come here and the one's arm robber suddenly changes. His body did not change, his face did not change, his voice did not change. The only thing that changed was his spirit and his mindset. So when you want to change men, what do you really change? So why have you been focusing on changing clothes and changing cars and changing jobs? It looks like the obvious problem, but it is not the right one. You have changed every other thing except the real thing that needs change. Can I tell you, when everybody is wrong, it's proof that the problem is your lens of sight, your mindset. Is someone learning? 
So when the Holy Spirit comes and wants to build you, he will not give you capital for a business. You see some of those prayers we are praying, is the mercy of God that is making that prayer not to be answered. Because God does not want you to waste money. God, if you can just give me five million in this Abuja, I promise you, you don't even need to come and help me again. You just give me five million and I will use the brain God gave. And you see, in God's mind, all you are saying is, Lord, mercy. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm confused, but I need help. And he comes to you. He gives you a book and he gives you a message. Go and meet somebody who is struggling financially and give him a teaching and say, can you listen to this? He said, no, you are wasting my time. All I need is money. And you are telling him, I want to help you. I shared it last week. This man can remove this beautiful attire he's wearing. Not to insult, we pray that God transforms them. But you go to the outskirts of the city where you meet all these rough boys. Again, you know what is rough about them, right? It is not the body. Always remember this body has always been obedient. It is the mindset that told the body to smoke. It is the mindset that told the body to sleep under a bridge. It is the mindset that told the body to go and look for where there is something to smoke. The body is innocent. Remove this same clothes and give those boys to wear. In one week, their mindset will tell on the cloth. This cloth is clean. It did not iron itself. The body did not make it happen. It's the mindset that told the body to be sure that it's, it's neatly dressed. So all of the confusion around our lives, we blame our bodies, we blame all of this. It is our refusal to be transformed. This is not just for your finance, it's for your life. We've dealt with the subject of mindsets. We come from different cultures. We come from different backgrounds. We've gone through different levels of whatever it is. Again, if this man has never experienced favor in his life, let's assume that he came, respectfully speaking, from a polygamous family and he went through all kinds of things. He failed. He did 10 years to finish primary school. Eight years to finish secondary school. Another 10 years to finish university. By the time he comes for koinonia and I say favor, his mindset rejects that prayer because that has not been captured in his reality. If I say diligence to work hard, he will say amen because that's what he knows. If I say favor, he wants to say amen, but his mind is saying what is favor. It will scan the archive of your destiny and say there's no such thing as that. So don't receive it. Are we together? Can I tell you, if you are yet to get a job, thank God, because you have the time to change quickly. So that by the time that job comes, is the renewed, is the enlightened version of you that is admitted there. Most people complain and waste time and sit from morning till night, blaming God, blaming parents, blaming wealthy people, and blaming serious people for their conditions. This is only the first law. Now, this is where I have a problem with the imbalance teaching that just give and your life will change. It's not true. You, you are seeing it now, right? Because there are many people who, as they are putting their hands to give, the realm of the spirit is ready to bring you the favor. But the level of mental transformation that can take that favor and translate it to a blessing is not there. So, spiritual blessings keep coming in a bag that is full of holes. Listen to me. It was not oil and a vessel that was equal to profit. It was oil and plenty vessels. When the prophet diagnosed her situation, he said the problem is not the oil. The oil will always assume the shape of the vessel carrying it. If the vessel is small, the oil will look small. He said, Madam, go and borrow vessel. Enlarge your capacity. That anointing, it is not your tithe that is not working. It is not your giving that is not working. It is the vessel through which the answer is coming. Even if rain falls from morning to night and it's only a cup you have outside, if we are to use the rain based on the size of your cup, we'll say it only drizzled. Whereas it was a, an avalanche. It's just your cup that made it look like it is not raining. Are we blessed? When I found this principle, I began to rejoice. I made up my mind that I won't fake anything. Brothers and sisters, drink your gari with honor. Don't rush the season in your life now because you will miss it. You will look for it and not find it again. It will take a telescope to look back and say, where am I coming from? Transformation. That is lasting wealth 
that does not fail. That's why you see wealthy people, even when they lose money or lose whatever it is, it doesn't really bother them because the moment they lose money, their mindset kicks in and says, it's a mistake. You shouldn't be poor. And the Holy Spirit will start working with that mind to find a way of bringing you back. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Yes. Look up, please. If Baba Deboe walks into this place right now and says, I am hungry, look up. How many of you say, how is that my business? There are restaurants, there's one in Jabi, there's one in Wuse. Is that how you respond? Some of you will say, thank you, Jesus. I have been praying for you. will run, leave this koinonian as it is now and run and go somewhere and make sure you get the meal and come and kneel down and say, please eat it in my presence and bless me. Do you know why? Look at this. Because his level of transformation does not allow that condition to exist in his life. Can I tell you, there is a level of transformation that if you get to it, it is only millionaires that have that kind of mindset. And if you have that mindset and there is nothing in your hand, the law of God's justice will force you to have the resources that match that mindset. Oh, goodness, my God. Help your people believe that I'm not just here wasting my time. That means if you have the mindset of a millionaire now and you are in one room, the law, the power that backs this law will interpret it as a lie. God will raise a destiny helper, a business, anything to shift you. So what you do is not really the problem. It's who you are. Are we together? Can I be honest with you? I want to say something now. When I started ministry, I used to go and preach. And sometimes now I, I'm, I'm, I have never preached for money. It has never been about giving. I love Jesus with all my heart. And for as long as I live, he becomes my motivation. Are we together? But when I started preaching, I remember when I would go and minister somewhere. And sometimes... Is when I climb my bike going back home, they will now stand as if they are bribing me and bring out 2A and just count maybe 1,000 or 500 and say, Man of God, may the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming for this meeting. I never felt bad because it was only my body that was in that realm. My mind was already years ahead of my body. And I knew my mind would pick my body to a place where I'll be blessed. I never told anybody I am growing. The moment I focus on growing, everything, including the way they treated me as I traveled, began to grow. Can I tell you this? Everything is waiting for you to grow, to grow too. Now, I'm going to demonstrate something that many of you have watched me do it. Can, can I have a few people, gentlemen, sorry for inconveniencing you, please come. Let's have like, um, I need at least six people. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three of you stand here, please, facing one another. No, three stand here, three stand here. Everybody watch. And don't let the devil deceive you to believe you know what I'm saying. Just pay attention to what I'm saying because this is how the devil cheats people in church. Now, watch this. Please go back, guys. This is what I want you to learn. Please, if you can lift your right hand, anything you can find, whether you're watching, just lift anything up that represents your results. Watch this. These are all the things that you want. Now, he's lifting money. Now, he's lifting all of this. These are different dimensions in life. Watch this. The way God programmed life is that you don't... All these things they are lifting... Lift it, guys, are needed in your destiny. But to start looking for them one by one is a burden God did not give you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Most of us, when God tells you, you need influence, you need relationship, you need a media ministry, you need finances, you need to travel abroad. How do you start looking for these things one by one? How old will you become before you get them? Let me show you how it works. You don't look for money. You never find it. Every realm and every level in your life has the possibilities attached to it to come. If this is level one, 
there is something that should come to level one. If this is level two, there is something that should come to level two. You don't bring them by getting them. You bring them by growing. Let me show you how the law works. For every step I take, come close to. Watch this. I'm in one room, poor and broke, from a family where nobody has risen. But I'm listening to Joshua Selman's message. And he's preaching. And I'm listening to it. Lord, I know that you are changing me. Watch this. I don't even know that these things are coming closer to me. Because I can't see them. I'm still in the one room. Let me show you how the law works. God has called you to be an entrepreneur. He has called you to be a man of God. Now, I'm listening to Miles Munro's materials. I'm listening to all of these things. Oh, there is something called the law of honor. That honor is the key to access. I've grown. Watch this. Are you seeing that now? Everything you are looking for is also looking for you. But it is not looking for this version of you. Please go back, guys. Is someone learning now? There is a version of you that wants to get this. A version of you that wants to sit in business class. You sit with business class with only 100 naira in your pocket. You are not yet there. So you go back. You know you have entered a realm because everything around you grows to support that realm. You cannot buy a jeep and be looking for one gallon of foil to foil it. You are not there. Are you seeing now? If it is by growth you get to a point where you can buy a jeep, then other supporting areas would have grown to make foiling a car not an issue. This is the mistake and the fallacy of a fake life. You came to church, sit down and learn. Watch this now. Because for some of you, I'm showing you a graphic picture of what God is doing with you now. You are seated in that house and you are saying, Lord, will you ever lift me? And then you keep learning. And then you keep learning. And then you keep learning. One day somebody just calls you and says, where are you? It's the law of time and chance happening. Remember the power of God is supervising that law. You are a businessman. Someone now says, can you help me sell one land? Um, and you sell it and make 300,000. It is small compared to the kingdom financier billionaire you are to be. But it is a test. It is only God showing you that this thing is working. Now you keep engaging these laws. A time will come where even you cannot push them away. The moment you are growing, even if you try to push them, they won't go. You push money away, it will not go because your growth has brought it to your life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now watch this. By the time you stand this way, everything has surrounded you. The media interview you have always looked for. You forgot about it and focused on growth. The jeep that will not make people sleep. Now you have cars you don't even know what to do with it. Because they were designed to follow growth. Not just desire. Believers, if you pay attention to what I'm saying, you will look for me one day and say, Apostle, thank you. Let's go back. This is where you are, my dear brother. Nobody knows you, yet you are a man of God that God has said you will go to the nations. There is temptation to live a fake life and get into premature manifestation. And God says, don't worry. Oh God, but I am, I am 30 years old and I don't have a car. God says, just focus on growing. Just focus on growing. And while you are growing, one day, God will position your destiny helpers in a conference and bring you there to preach. And then because you have allowed yourself to be transformed, by the time you preach, you see this man holding money? He will carry what will be somebody's one year salary and give to you. Just when you want to rejoice, God says, ah, we're still in the school of the spirit. This is not all you need. This is just to encourage you that it is working. Let's go back to class. Now, many people out of pride just stand and start bragging and says, no. Can I be honest with you? You can go back and everything also will go back. This is the mystery behind balloon success. Now watch this. I can use willpower and I can manipulate my way to hold this. Whereas I have not grown. The laws of God's justice system will interpret this as a lie. 
I will lose this thing no matter how careful I am. Life must take me back to the real place that befits my mindset. Can I be honest with you? My dear people, hear me. This is where living a fake life, if you eat tomorrow's bread today, you will be hungry tomorrow. If you wear tomorrow's cloth today, if all you have is a trouser of 500 naira, iron it with honor. It is only your body wearing it. Your mind is already in a boutique, shopping for your next level of life, walking with the Holy Spirit. We live in a world today where people are proud, uh, they feel ashamed of process. If you come and meet me in a one room with my Bible and my candle and I'm praying and reading a book, usually I'll be afraid and ashamed. And so I will lie and tell my friend, can you borrow me your house so that I will give a narrative that I'm making it? No, the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that people can rise. And can I tell you this? Let men laugh while you rise. There will be the witnesses the day you rise. They will be the ones who tell people, no, 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 minus this person. We knew him. We saw him when he started. Make up your mind that there is no living a fake life anywhere. Don't borrow any money to go and buy clothes and buy this and buy a car. That debt is killing you. Your mindset is cooperating with Satan to bring you back. Punishing yourself in circles. Simply because you want to give a narrative that you're successful. You can find rest God's way. One last time. Let me act your journey right now. For some of you, you have gotten to level one. Some of you are already millionaires, but that's not all God wants to do. Some of you are billionaires, but that's not all God wants to do. Can I tell you this? Until you get to a point where you can give to the kingdom without inconvenience, you are not yet there. So as I kneel to pray, as I come for koinonia every week, let me tell you what is happening to you. Week one, week two, you don't look like it. Week three, all that falling, you are falling under the anointing, you stand up and feel your wivon fell out. Don't worry, don't worry. This is what is happening to you. I know you are laughing, but take seriously what I'm saying. You are listening to the word of God. Others are sleeping, you are awake praying. You are studying materials. All because you want to build your mind. A day will come, you will see people's prayer requests coming to you. You didn't remember praying for them, but you fulfilled the Lord that brought them. They will come so close to you, you will drive them and they will not go away. A day will come, you say, God, these cars are enough. Just when you are saying it, a call will come and somebody will say, God told me. And God says, I can't stop. You are obeying the law. I must back it. Please do not think what you are hearing is some entertainment from a preacher. No. I fear God too much to come and waste your precious time here. Alagbara. You are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Bichu. You are the glorious God. I like my rock. You are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Bichu. You are the glorious God. Please go back one last time, gentlemen. Watch this. This was what God told me many years ago son do not worry about these things focus on my principles that what you could not eat then you will eat it tomorrow the first crusade that we went to they were less than maybe about the size of our worship team here can you imagine praying and fasting for weeks as if you would die only to get to the crusade ground we were in debt. The same ladies who were in the welfare were in the worship team. They climbed trees to plot firewood for us to cook before they went to sing. But it was only our bodies that were there. Powerful crusade. And I said, Lord, someday nations and kings will come. Transformation in partnership with the word of God will take us there. And today... 
to him be the glory and this is only one step out of the cave can I tell you this do not feel embarrassed by the inconveniences that you may see right now stop faking it stop roaming around getting angry and feeling this person should have helped me the fact that they cannot remember you means you are not walking by this law there is a level that when you get to your helpers must remember you so you see that it was only the body of joseph that was in that prison joseph knew i'm sure joseph was comforting them and they were saying joseph what is the basis of your confidence you are a prisoner like us he said no it is only my body that is with you when i get up i will make sure that i favor you and in one night no here is the fallacy of saying people just came out of nowhere no they rose to match where their minds have always been just because you did not see their training process does not mean they were not trained you might be a politician here please hear me you are starting as a local government chairman but your level of kingdom and mental transformation is the mindset of a senator a mindset of a president a mindset of an ambassador can i tell you the truth it will be impossible for you to remain in that position i don't care what party you are the force that backs this law is so powerful that no institution on earth sustains the power to stop an individual who fulfills this law this is true so the lord is telling you right now why is it that in spite of the fact that i'm getting money i'm not doing anything you are focused on getting not growing the first law i'm teaching you this night i can't believe we've spent so much time on just one law next time you rise and someone says you are just lucky tell the person please sit down i have a few things to tell you out of a heart of love and comfort it is not luck it is understanding are we blessed one last time never forget this teach your children teach everyone you know you are a ceo gather the people in your company and tell them stop complaining about the money you are receiving the money you are receiving is not all i am paying it is what your mindset instructed me to pay you the day you rise the instruction will change let this be your destiny in the name of jesus that by growth by growth everything that you are looking for today by growth when it comes by growth you are not afraid because everything will grow together are we blessed gentlemen god bless you i really appreciate you let's celebrate them let's give them a big has someone learned something today packaging without mental upgrade will only lead you to frustration you will give a narrative you will not have the transformation to defend are we together You cannot claim you're a millionaire and then mama will ask you for 10,000 and you are talking stories. You are not there. Simple. By faith you are there. In the spirit you are there. But physically, if you are not there, be patient and work with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Focus more on becoming than doing. You will do, but let it come after you have become. Your physical environment will gradually and eventually reflect the true state of your mindset. Your physical environment will gradually and eventually reflect the true state of your mindset. I don't have the time and I think I've taught it here. How the mind is renewed. You must have access to superior word-based ideas and information. The first way to upgrade your mind is access to superior word-based information. Teachings like this that come to challenge status quo and to build you. Number two, repetition of those ideas until conviction is established. Hearing once 
will not bring transformation. You must hear again and again. Can I tell you, there are teachings and materials I was sharing with the School of Ministry student. I stand before the God of heaven and I lie not. There are materials I have listened to more than 6,000 times. One material. The goal is not for information. The goal is for transportation into my mind until it becomes true. 